God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Lord Jesus, once you spoke to man upon the mountain in the plain. Oh, help us listen now as then, and wonder at your words again. The gospel speaks and we receive your light, your love, your own command. Oh, help us live what we believe in daily work of heart and hand. Let God arise. Let his enemies flee before him. Let God arise, let his foes be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is blown away, so will they be blown away. Like wax that melts before the fire, so the wicked shall perish at the presence of God. But the just shall rejoice at the presence of God. They shall exult and dance for joy. O oh, sing to the Lord, make music to his name, make a highway for him who rides on the clouds. Rejoice in the Lord, exult at his presence. Father of the orphan, defender of the widow, such is God in his holy place. God gives the lonely a home to live in. He leads the prisoners forth into freedom, but rebels must dwell in a parched land. When you went forth, O God, at the head of your people, when you marched across the desert, the earth trembled, the heavens melted at the presence of God, at the presence of God, Israel's God. You poured down, O God, a generous rain. When your people were starved, you gave them new life. It was there that your people found a home. Prepared in your goodness, O God, for the poor. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let God arise. Let, Let his, his enemies, enemies flee before, before him. him. Our God is a saving God. He, the Lord, holds the keys of death. The Lord gives the word to the bearers of good tidings. The Almighty has defeated a numberless army, and kings and armies are in flight, in flight, while you were at rest among the sheepfolds. At home the women already share the spoil. They are covered with silver as the wings of a dove, its feathers brilliant with shining gold, and jewels flashing like snow on Mount Zalman. The mountains of Bashan are mighty mountains. High-ridged mountains are the mountains of Bashan. Why look with envy, you high-ridged mountains, at the mountain where God has chosen to dwell? It is there that the Lord shall dwell forever. The chariots of God are thousands upon thousands. The Lord has come from Sinai to the holy place. You have gone up on high. You have taken captives, receiving men in tribute, O God, even those who rebel into your dwelling, O Lord. May the Lord be blessed day after day. He bears our burdens, God our Savior. This God of ours is a God who saves. The Lord our God holds the keys of death and God will smite the head of his foes, the crown of those who persist in their sins. The Lord said, I will bring them back from Bashan. I will bring them back from the depth of the sea. Then your feet will tread in their blood, and the tongues of your dogs take their share of the foe. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our God is a saving God. He, He, the the Lord, Lord, holds the keys keys of death. Kingdoms of earth, sing praise to God. Make music in honor of the Lord. They see your solemn procession, O God, the procession of my God, of my King, to the sanctuary. The singers in the forefront, the musicians coming last, between them maidens sounding their timbrels. In festive gatherings, bless the Lord. Bless God, O you who are Israel's sons. There is Benjamin, least of the tribes at the head, Judas' princes, a mighty throng, Zebulun's princes, Naphtali's princes. Show forth, O God, show forth your might, your might, O God, which you have shown for us. For the sake of your temple high in Jerusalem, may kings come to you bringing their tribute. Threaten the wild beast that dwells in the reeds, the bands of the mighty and lords of the peoples. Let them bow down, offering silver. Scatter the peoples who delight in war. Princes will make their way from Egypt. Ethiopia will stretch out her hands to God. Kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Praise the Lord, who rides on the heavens, the ancient heavens. He thunders his voice, his mighty voice. Come, acknowledge the power of God. His glory is on Israel. His might is in the skies. God is to be feared in his holy place. He is the Lord, Israel's God. He gives strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Kingdoms of earth, sing Sing praise praise to God. God. Make music in honor of the Lord. I will listen to what the Lord God is saying. He tells of peace for his people. From the beginning of the book of the prophet Habakkuk, the oracle which Habakkuk the prophet received in vision, How long, O Lord, I cry for help, but you do not listen. I cry out to you, violence, but you do not intervene. Why do you let me see ruin? Why must I look at misery? Destruction and violence are before me. There is strife and clamorous discord. This is why the law is benumbed and judgment is never rendered, because the wicked circumvent the just. This is why judgment comes forth perverted. Look over the nations and see, and be utterly amazed, for a work is being done in your days that you would not have believed were it told. For see, I am raising up Chaldea, that bitter and unruly people that marches the breath of the land to take dwellings not his own. Terrible and dreadful is he, from himself derive his law and his majesty. Swifter than leopards are his horses, and keener than wolves at evening. His horses prance, His horsemen come from afar. They fly like the eagle hastening to devour. Each comes forth for the rapine. Their combined onset is that of a storm wind that heaps up captives like sand. He scoffs at kings, and princes are his laughingstock. He laughs at any fortress, heaps up a ramp, and conquers it. Then he veers like the wind and is gone, this culprit who makes his own strength his God. Are you not from eternity, O Lord, my holy God, 
immortal. O Lord, you have marked him for judgment. O Rock, you have readied him for punishment. Too pure are your eyes to look upon evil, and the sight of misery you cannot endure. Why then do you gaze on the faithless in silence, while the wicked man devours one more just than himself? You have made man like the fish of the sea, like creeping things without a ruler. He brings them all up with his hook. He hauls them away in his net. He gathers them in his seine. And so he rejoices and exalts. Therefore he sacrifices to his net and burns incense to his seine. For thanks to them his portion is generous and his repast sumptuous. Shall he then keep on brandishing his sword to slay peoples without mercy? I will stand at my guard post and station myself upon the rampart and keep watch to see what he will say to me and what answer he will give to my complaint. Then the Lord answered me and said, Write down the vision clearly upon the tablets so that one can read it readily. For the vision still has its time, presses on to fulfillment, and will not disappoint. If it delays, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not be late. The rash man has no integrity, but the just man, because of his faith, shall live. A little while longer, a very little while, and the promised one will come. He will not delay. My just one will live by faith. We are not people who shrink back and are lost. We live by faith that we might be saved. My just one will live by faith. From a sermon by St. Bernard, Abbot. We read in the Gospel that when the Lord was teaching his disciples and urged them to share in his passion by the mystery of eating his body, some said, This is a hard saying, and from that time they no longer followed him. When he asked the disciples whether they also wished to go away, they replied, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. I assure you, my brothers, that even to this day it is clear to some that the words which Jesus speaks are spirit and life, and for this reason they follow him. To others, these words seem hard, and so they look elsewhere for some pathetic consolation. Yet wisdom cries out in the streets, in the broad and spacious way that leads to death, to call back those who take this path. Finally, he says, for forty years I have been close to this generation, and I said, they have always been faint-hearted. You also read in another psalm, God has spoken once, once indeed, because forever. His is a single, uninterrupted utterance, because it is continuous and unending. He calls upon sinners to return to their true spirit and rebukes them when their hearts have gone astray. For it is in the true heart that he dwells, and there he speaks, fulfilling what he taught through the prophet. Speak to the heart of Jerusalem. You see, my brothers, how the prophet admonishes us for our advantage. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. You can read almost the same words in the Gospel and in the Prophet. For in the Gospel, the Lord says, My sheep hear my voice. And in the Psalm, blessed David says, You are his people, meaning, of course, the Lord's, and the sheep of his pasture. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. 
Here also the prophet Habakkuk, far from hiding the Lord's reprimands, he dwells on them with attentive and anxious care. He says, I will stand upon my watchtower and take up my post on the ramparts, keeping watch to see what he will say to me and what answer I will make to those who try to confute me. I beg you, my brothers, stand upon our watchtower, for now is the time for battle. Let all our dealings be in the heart where Christ dwells, in right judgment and wise counsel, but in such a way as to place no confidence in those dealings, nor rely upon our fragile defenses. The laws of the Lord are all before me, and I have not failed to keep his statutes. The decrees of the Lord are upright and bring joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord are clear and enlighten the eyes. The love of God reaches perfection in those who are obedient to his word. The decrees of the Lord are upright and bring joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord are clear and enlighten the eyes. Let us pray. God, our Father, you redeem us and make us your children in Christ. Look upon us, give us true freedom, and bring us to the inheritance you promised. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.